Okay, so in this video, I would like to talk about uh, how to properly skin a thick mesh in three easy steps. Okay, first of all, what is the problem? So the problem is that when you get these uh, thick meshes, the challenge is that you have to maintain the same exact weights on both sides of the mesh. So the external side of the mesh and the internal side of the mesh have to have exactly the same uh, weights and if you don't have that, uh, the problem that you, that you will get is that one side will poke through the other side during deformation. Now, the most common rigs that this would happen on is something like skirts, you know, where you have a skirt that shows the thickness, and then flags or sleeves, you know, like a shirt sleeve, and then uh, hair, you know, if the, your hair is geometry, you know, like uh, usually, you know, a lot of times a, a hair is a thick... Um, you know, especially when it's stylized, is a thick piece of geometry or things like belts. So this is the most um, the most common rigs uh, that this problem occurs, but there is many others. Uh, so the first step to fix it is again, this is very simple, but again, it changed. It you know it, it improved my skinning quite a bit. So the first one is to you know make your mesh flat. Um, so we eliminate the problem of the, the mesh being uh, having thickness. So we can use a view, the UV editor for selecting faces to easily select, um, easily select uh, faces and then remove the faces that we don't want. So select the faces that we don't want using the UV editor and then remove them. So step two is to transfer the weights to the flat surface. So at this point we, we have a already some weights on the skirt, but you, we have one side of the one side of the geometry that is poking through. So as if as in life, you need to know a pro, the proper way of transferring the weights, right? So I use a little script to help me with this. And if you uh, enter your email address, I can send you the um, you know this little script and much more. Uh, and then copy the weights. Uh, so we are transferring the weights from the thick surface to the to the flat surface, and then magically just put the weights back. That's really all you have to do. Uh, so you're transferring the weights back from the flat surface to the thick surface without doing anything else. So this is this is really like a magical way that you can also script it if you want, uh, but it's it's fantastic. So three simple easy steps. So now we can we're gonna go in Maya and. Uh, uh, show how, is, how the process is done. Okay, so we are we are in Maya. So the problem that I'm having here is my skirt. My skirt has uh, is a geometry that has thickness all around. So all it is is basically a geometry that has been uh, extruded, right? Uh, but it has the, you know this is a really cool design because the outside of the geometry it has this really cool texture. And uh, the artist Haifan is the guy that made this geometry really awesome work. Uh, but the inside of it has a different color. And that makes things worse. Because now, uh, I don't have any controls on this, on this skirt. This is a, a skirt that I purely done for this demo. Because uh, otherwise I would have controls going down the skirt. But this to illustrate the problem here is that when I, if I rotate the... If I rotate the, the skirt forward, you see that the skirt follows everything and it, and it looks really nice, right? But if I, if I uh, rotate it, if I move the foot back, you see that now the inside of the geometry here pokes through, right? Because the weights of the internal part are not the same as the external part. And that's because when I was doing my weights, I was in this position and I was making sure that since it's the position that the, f the leg is going to hit the most, I was painting the weights on the outside of my uh, skirt here. So I know that the outside of my the weights on the outside of my skirt are pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this back to zero because I have a little animation here just to help me out with this with uh, with painting weights. So. So the first thing that I'm going to do, like I said in the, sl in the slides that I used, is that I am going to make this geometry flat. So, and it's not really making this geometry flat, but creating for myself a, a, a geometry that is flat. So I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to call it underscore flat. 
and I'm going to put it, I'm going to unparent it so it's right there. So now the second part, so this is, this is uh, just a duplicate of the, of the, of the skirt. So I'm going to isolate it. And then from here, I'm going to use the UV editor. Because at this point, if you're rigging a character, hopefully you have good UVs. So in this case, you have the UV of the external, the outside of the, the skirt and the inside of the skirt. So in this case, because I painted the outside of the skirt, I am going to delete the, uh, the inside here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to go to UV and select some UVs on the inside of the skirt. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to hold down control and right click, roll, uh, hold down right click and say to UV shell. And then same thing, I'm going to hold down control and hold down right click and then to faces. And then I'm going to go here, I'm going to hit delete. So I can do the same thing from the viewport. I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to delete all of these faces here to make sure that my geometry is as clean as possible and as flat as possible. So I'm going to delete these guys right here. And the bottom part. So now I have a geometry that is perfectly flat. So this is, I'm going to go here and I can close the UV editor. And then now the second step is to properly transfer weights from the, the geometry that I had before to this one. So from the thick to this to the flat. So I'm going to go and select the thick geometry. And the, the, the problem here is, and this is where I was saying in the slides that it's that you need to be able to transfer the weights in the proper way. So when I when you, to do it the proper way, I need to know exactly all the joints and only the joints that are deforming this uh, skirt. So I have a little script that if I isolate my thick geometry here, if I select all of my vertices, I have a little script that I put on my uh, useful marking menu here that says select joints from components. So when I select, when I click uh, on that option, it basically have selected all the joints that are that are deforming the skirt. And now I can click on this, the flat geometry here, and then go skin, bind skin. So now the thick geometry and the flat geometry are controlled and deformed by exactly the same joints. And this is very key. So now all I have to do is select the thick geometry and then select the flat geometry and then go to the form, sorry, skin, copy skin weights, option box. Make sure that you have closest joint on surface, closest point, closest point on surface and closest joint and click on copy. So now, I should have both of my geometries deforming the same. Let's see, there is a little bit of difference, so let's check it out. So go here and here, and go skin. Let's making sure, let's make sure that uh, so pelvis, left and right. Okay. And then oh yeah, I think that the, the difference also is that this one has uh, dual quaternion. So I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that this is also dual quaternion. And let's see if now this works. So now the step three is the magical, magical step. I can reverse it. So click the flat surface first, and then the thick surface, and then do the same thing. Copy skin weights. So now I can take this piece of geometry and hide it. And now I should see both sides of, of my skirt completely, perfectly uh, skinned the same way. So the key here was that uh, script. Um, so if you want to have, if you want to receive that script, 
um, you, you know you can leave me your email and I can uh, send it to you uh, what I can also do is I have a, a tutorial um, published on CG circuit that talks about how to improve your productivity in rigging um, what I can do is I can uh, make sure that if, if you if you uh, if you give me your email address um, you will be getting the script uh, that I just used here and I will also give give you my email address uh, so what you can do is you can email me and uh, I can make sure that to gift you that uh, tutorial it's like 25 bucks if you buy it uh, but I can make sure to gift it to you um, that way you can have a, a, a large set of little tools to improve uh, your productivity your rigging productivity quite a bit so again this trick was really, really useful for me. Um, and so you can use it for a lot of other different, different ways. So for example, if you want to uh, handle hair like this one, you know, this one has thick geometry. So you can, you can basically, uh, you know, keep, uh, delete all the internal faces, right? Or like you can all, all, you can keep, you can delete all the faces that are underneath and just keep the top ones. And then after you're done with that, you can copy the weights to your um, to to your mesh that has thick ones right here. Same thing. If I if I need to now modify uh, the weights on this skirt because maybe an animator gave me some comments on my weights, what I can do is if I keep this skirt around, I can make my weights changes. I can hide this, you know, the 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 thick one. And I can make my weight changes to the flat one and then just keep transferring it over to the thick one. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to enter your email so I can send you that script. And I can also send you some other, some other content. Uh, and I can gift you that tutorial as well. Thank you very much for watching.